I want the speed of the snake to increase every time it touches one of the tokens. So let's make a new variable. Let's go to variables. Click make a variable. Name the new variable speed. Click OK. And now let's take the change by block. Change the setting from length to speed. And I'll place this block right here. So I know that every time the snake touches one of the tokens, the speed will change by one. Now to actually affect the speed of the snake, let's go to snake. And I know that this program right here controls the speed of the snake. Specifically this block, the move five steps block. So I'll take the new variable speed and I'll place it right here. And now the variable will control the value of this block. So let's start a new game. And I can see that the snake is not moving. And it's not moving because the current speed of the snake is zero. So let's go back to token, get the set variable to block, change the setting from length to speed, and place this block right here. I know that these actions set the initial values for our variables. And I know that as soon as I click the green flag, the speed will be set to, in this case, let's set it to five, start a new game. And now I can see that the initial speed of the snake is five. Let's start a new one, it's five. And if I catch one of the tokens, I can see that the speed increases by one. So now eight, nine, 10. And now I know that the program is working. But perhaps the speed is increasing too much. So let's change the value of this block that change speed by from one to, let's say, 0.2, just like the length. Start a new game. And I can see that the speed is increasing, but not as much as it used to. Now let's take the variable of the stage. Just uncheck this box. And if I start a new game, I can see that the speed of the snake increases every time it touches one of the tokens. Sometimes during a game, when the token moves to a random position, it may land right next to one of the edges of the stage. If that happens, it might be almost impossible for the snake to catch it once again. So let's make a program to prevent that. Let's go to control, take the if then block, place it right here. And now let's go to sensing, take the touching block. Let's change the setting of this block from mouse pointer to edge, place it right here. And now let's go to motion and take the go to random position block. Now, every time the token, this sprite right here, touches the edge of the stage, it will move to a random position. It will move again. So we won't have that problem anymore. Let's go now to control, take the forever block. We want this instruction to be always active. And now let's just top it with the events when green flag clicked. And now every time this object touches the edge of the stage, it will move to a random position. Let's just test it, place it right here. Let's start a new game. And we can see that it moves to another position. Let's place it, let's say right here, just activate this program. And it moves again to another random position. Let's set a game over sequence for our game. I want to show this backdrop, the game over backdrop, whenever the game stops. And I want the game to reset to this one, to the clear stage, whenever the game begins again. So let's go back to Snake and then to Code. And let's go to Looks and take the Switch Backdrop 2. I know that the game over backdrop is called Game Over. So I'll just select Game Over and I'll place it right here below the line. If touching red color or touching edge, the game will stop, but before it stops, it will show me this backdrop, the game over backdrop. Let's start a new game. And if I touch the edge of the screen, we get the game over backdrop. And now to reset the game, let's take the same block, switch backdrop to, and let's change the setting to one, which was the clear stage that we had at the beginning of the game and place it right here below the switch custom two. Let's start a new game, see if this works. And now we have a clear stage. We can score a few points, but if the game stops, we get the game over backdrop. Now, I would also like to add a sound effect for the game over. So let's go to sound 
And if I go to the sounds tab, I can see that I have these two sounds. This one and this one too. I think I want to use this one, the one that's called Synth Beep 01. Let's go back to code and now to sound. Take the play sound until done. Select the one I want, this one, Synth. And I'll place it below the switch backdrop to game over. Now let's start a new game. Score a few points. And if I touch the edge, we get the game over backdrop and the sound that we just included. But if I start a new game and I touch the edge of the screen, for example, I can see that the snake still moves. And it's still moving because this block, the stop all block, won't be activated until the sound, the one that I just included, is done. So to make the snake stop, I'm gonna go to control and take again the stop block. But instead of all, I'm gonna change the setting to other scripts in this sprite. And this block will stop all the programs that are included in this sprite, in the snake. And this is the one I'm interested in stopping right away, the one that moves the snake. So let's just place this block right here below the if touching color red or if touching edge. So the first thing that we'll get is that the snake won't be able to move anymore and then we'll get our game over sequence. Let's start a new game. Score a few points. And if the game stops, I can no longer move the snake. Let's see it in full screen. Let's try to score a few points. One, two. And if the game stops, I can no longer move the snake. Let's set a winning sequence now. I want the game to stop whenever I reach a certain amount of points. So let's go to control, take the if then block. Now to variables, I'll need the score variable. And now let's go to operators and take the equal block. I'll place this core variable right here and I'll set the value to let's say three points. So if I score three points I want the game to stop. So let's go back to control, take the stop all block, place it right here and now let's just take the forever loop and the when I, when I click green flag block. So whenever I score three points, the game should stop. One, two, three, and the game stops. Now, I also would like to see this backdrop, the one that says winner. So let's go back to code, to looks, and take the switch backdrop to, and place it right here. Switch backdrop to winner. Now let's start a new game. One, two, three, and there it is, the winner backdrop. Now let's add a sound to the winning sequence. I can go to sounds, and I would like to add this one. All right, so let's go back to code. Now go back to sound and take the play sound health 2, that's the name of the sound, until done. So let's place the block right here, try again, I'll try to score three points, one, two, here's the third one, and as you can see we switch to the winner backdrop, but because the snake is still moving it may touch the red color of its own body or perhaps the edge of the screen, and we could get the game over sequence. Even if we just got the score, we needed to trigger the winning sequence. So we need to stop the snake movement once we get to the score limit. This is the program that I would like to stop, the one that moves the snake. So let's use a message here. Let's go to events, take the broadcast message. Let's make a new message. Let's call it winner. Click OK and place this block right here. So as soon as we get the score, the, we get three points or whichever score we need to trigger the winning sequence, the snake should stop moving. So let's go back to snake 
And right here, we'll make a new program. So when I receive this message, winner, I would like to stop all the scripts from the sprite. So let's go to control, take a stop all block and change it to stop other scripts in the sprite. Now let's go back to the stage. Let's try again. I'll try to score three more points. One, two, three. And we can see that as soon as we score three points, the ones that we set right here, the winning sequence starts and the snake stops moving. So there is no more danger of triggering the game over sequence. Let's add some background music to the game. Right here in stage, if we go to the sounds tab, we can see that there are a few tunes that we can use. For example, this one. Or this one. This one. And we also have this one. I think I'll use this one. I'll go back to code. Now to sounds and I'll take the play sound until done. I know that the sound of the tune I want to use is one minute. Now I'll go to control, take the forever loop and I'll place the play sound until done inside the forever loop. Now let's just go to events, take the when green flag clicked block and place it right here. And that's pretty much it. Let's start a new game. And there it is. If we want to change the volume of the song, we can go back to sound, take the set volume to block, change the value of this block from 100% to let's say 30% and place it right below the when green flag clicked. Now let's start a new game, try again. And we can see that the volume of the song is way lower. Now, we could also change the score limit that we need to reach in order to win the game from 3, which is the one I was using when I was testing the game, to something more challenging, to let's say 20 points. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. The game is pretty much done. Let's go to full screen and let's start a new game. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.